Indigenous people have been protesting Mount Rushmore since there was a Mount Rushmore. We have come together as a people to make our voices heard and to represent our opposition to Mount Rushmore as a symbol of oppression, imperialism, and uh, white supremacy and the systematic racism that the history of this country was built on and that is continuing to per perpetuate in society today. As a Ogla Lakota, one of our responsibilities was to protect these sacred lands here. It was one of our responsibilities. And we've been fighting to protect this land for, for generations. And so we're continuing on a culture of resistance and a culture of responsibility that we have as indigenous people to protect our land and to protect our community and, and, and to protect the future generations so that they continue to have this. Long-term justice is liberation of the entire Black Hills and returning to them to the Lakota people. In the interim, we'll take Mount Rushmore. We're not just here against something. We're here to build something new. We're here to, to build a new world where we can raise our children in a world without white supremacy, a, a world that's built on a foundation of, of liberation and a, and a foundation of equity and justice. See a celebration of a right to resist, to maintain our existence. But then I also see people living in their ignorance because they don't recognize that we're here still. What would, what would justice look like to you? Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. I said it before, capitalism and democracy are not synonymous. In order for us to be free, we have to be independent. We have to know who we are. We have to save our languages and our children. We're fighting for survival. We're fighting through addiction, through suicide, through poverty, through broken treaties, and through an ignorance by an American public that believes that this country was just discovered accidentally, that believes Christopher Columbus didn't cause genocide, that religious institutions weren't a part of killing the Indian to save the man. And until we recognize that history, white supremacy will continue to claw at the minds of everyone. True Americans of voices are being ignored right now. Everybody, these guys are damn near ruining this country, these Antifa people. And what, what makes you think they're Antifa? Well, a lot of them are. They're, you see their uh, insignias and stuff like that in the back. Uh, I don't see any insignias. I see them walking around earlier. They got the shirts and all that. Huh. There is, oh, well, either way. We hope that by our presence, we can help to uh, limit any uh, excessive force or at least minimize it. Uh, we're trying to do discussions and negotiations. Uh, this is not about confronting the police. This is not about confronting, you know, Trump people uh, other than verbally and uh, intelligently and spiritually. And so uh, there may well be arrests, but um, but the whole idea is that people want to be nonviolent. And that's what this is about. This is about uh, Peace. What, what do you make of this movement? What's that? What do you make of this movement? Magazine, George Magazine? I don't know. I don't know if it's a movement, man. It's, I mean, they're trying to state their purpose. They got a spot up there where they can protest, say exactly what they want, and then they got to go on and do all this. 
If plenty of people want to get up there, I don't, I don't think that's right. But what, what do you think about what, what they're saying? Like they're, they're talking about the treaties that were broken, stuff like that. I honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know too much about it, so I'm not going to speak about it. Okay. Those were all the presidents before Trump. Right. Right. Trump's trying to write everything. You think so? Yes, I do. Dude, we need to get some people in here. We gotta put them in the front line. This is fucking bullshit. Yeah. Seriously. We need, to, we need to call in there and kick some ass. <laughs> this is totally <laughs> fucked up. Then you're just like them. No, that's wrong. You kick their ass once, they learn their lesson, next time they'll hesitate. That's right. I'm with you. They won't come. They'll think about it. They'll think about it twice before they come in again. And we don't, I'll be straight up with you. I'll be straight up with you. The aggression today has come out from you guys. From those guys. It wasn't us. We All we did was block the road. And, and you guys came at us hard. You didn't stick to your word. You didn't honor what you said you were going to. And you came at us hard. So, 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 this, so I'll tell you what the terms of our negotiation is. Okay. Unhook those right now. <laughs> tell tell Penny and the County to stand down. Get the wreckers out of here. And then that's the beginning of the negotiation. <laughs> if we'll leave or not. <laughs> Everybody behind the white line, let's go. Stay behind the white line, thank 